Challenge. You're currently watching a best of five between Dong Wei Gu and Jokji. It's evened up at one to one. Of course, you just saw that promo though. The championships, the winner championships are coming up very soon, March 15th in Dallas, Texas. So stop procrastinating. Get your plans together, book your hotel room, and buy your pass online right now. Store.MajorLeagueGaming.com. It's 35 bucks if you buy it online. If you buy it at the door, it's $50. So save yourself some cash so you can get some extra Dr. Pepper. Actually, Dr. Pepper's free at the event. Ugh, what am I thinking? Um, so you can get yourself an upgrade on your hotel room, potentially. I don't know what you use that money for, but you can save 15 bucks right now by purchasing online instead of at the door. And make sure you're at the Dallas event because it's going to be the best esports event in the history of the world. And you do not want to miss it. You're going to be kicking yourself if you're like, if you're an hour away or if you're even in Dallas. There's people in Dallas who like won't even go and they're just going to be watching it and they're going to be like, oh, I wish I was there, kind of a thing. So get on that, guys. I promise it's going to be awesome. All right. I'm ready for the next game. Are you next? If you're I, not, I we, can, no. we can talk a little no, bit. This, this. Well, you know what? I, I do want to mention one thing, which mm. is these. It, it's awesome to see these guys play because they're both obviously experienced Tata Swarm. Yeah. I mean, uh, Jocks are really using the, the Medivacs, trying to get the most out of DRG, knowing how scary drops are now that the Medivac can move so fast. He had the spores. He, he put double spores yes. in his bases to, to really narrow those Medivac options. I mean, he knew how to use the Vipers. He knew how to deal with the Widow Mines early on. It was just... These guys are playing so good, man. It's really fun to watch. Um... And it's nice because because they're truly getting a sense of okay what's going on in this matchup what's good against what um, should Zergs be upset about the current meta game and I think DRG played that very nicely like he dealt with the Reaper play just fine you know people are like oh he's gonna die to the Reaper play because Reapers are imbalanced in Heart of the Storm DRG's like you know what I'll just not freak out I'll stick with slowlings just make sure they don't kill too much and maybe pick off a Reaper here or there. Because Reapers are very hard to control. I mean, there's, they're a lot faster, so in a sense, that makes them harder to control as a Terran player. But before First we get, world problems. Yeah, I know, right? Um, <laughs> but before we get too far into this game, let's go ahead and introduce the players. The top right-hand location, we have the Blue Zerg player from Team MVP was down 1-0, but had an inspiring game, too, to even up the series. Will he get that trip to Dallas? He is Dong Regu. His opponent in the bottom left of Daybreak is the Red Terran player from Team New Star Wholesale. Excellent, excellent Terran player showing a very crafty build in Game 1, but not having quite enough in Game 2. Can he convert a victory in Game 3? He is Jokji. Jokji going back to the same opening he did in Game 1, that Command Center first. I honestly, like, the, the theory behind his openings is so solid. Like, you, you, you either go for an expansion as fast as possible, or you do something to put pressure on your opponent, right? Like the Reaper. Like, there's so many people who just kind of, like, delay do their something expansion. something in between. Yeah, it's like they, they build, like, an expansion a minute later, but all they did is build three Marines and sat them in their base. It's like, why didn't you build the Marines after the expansion? You know? All right, why not build two command centers right away? Well, you do want to get the orbitals. Okay, why not get two or an orbital and then build two command centers right away? Yeah, a lot of people do that. Why not three? Um, the only reason why not is because your opponent could all in you. Dang it. Or, or because you want to put damage on your opponent. You want to get those Hellings out, those Widow Mines out, uh -huh. uh, you know, th those type of things. So there's just a little bit of a balance, but right off the bat, <laughs> you, you want to either expand or put pressure on. Um, we'll do one of those two things first. The RG this time. He's going for the gas early, and he's he actually is. mining from it this time. He is. Maybe and he won't wait till 25 minutes to well, get speed. It could be he saw his point one command center first, and he's like, well, if he does the same build he did first game, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to try to like kill him before that happens. That, <laughs> that could be an option. It, it could be. We'll have to wait and see, or maybe he's going to try it, to kill him. Imagine if he like tries to surprise those early Hellions and gets those. Like, oh, yes. That hurts the, the build so much. If he can get out those... Every people. Hellion counts. Yeah, if he can knock those down, that'd be great. Um, of course, Daybreak is a longer rush distance than... Or is it? Aklon Wastes. Uh, I think it actually might be similar. Yeah, it's probably it. pretty similar. Look at the gas DRG has, though. He just keeps mining it. You know, and Jockey's going to click on this, which he just did. He's like, what? 2340. Well, what are you up to, my good friend? My good That's sir. a lot of... And he's not getting... Oh, he's going to get, a, like, a, a, a metric bajillion Dude, I don't know if this amount of roaches. I don't know if this is going to work. But I, I almost feel he has more gas than he needs. Roaches are only 25 gas each. He doesn't have... Oh! Burrow! That's what he's using uh, all the gas for! This is gonna be so cool! 
We're gonna see the roaches do the little pop up, pop down, regen type micro. Pop up, pop down, regen type micro. Yeah, it's called the uh, the, the the Jack in the Box micro. From Jockji. Oh no, against Jock. Against Jockji. That would have been so. Good. Yeah, that Jockji doing Jack in the Box. You know what? I mean, uh, if, if Jockji can figure out this is going on and gets Widow Mines, that'll be really strong against it. Because if you can just kill the roaches instantly, and there's no detection, so they can never clear the Widow Mines up. But if you go like. If you try to kill them with the stinger approach, you just mob them with, you know, SCVs, Marines, Hellions, it's not going to work. Nick, I have a sad thing to tell you. He's getting Hellions. DRG, cancel. Burrow. He canceled Burrow? Yes, sir. No! Yeah. Burrow's so awesome. I know. Get through this. But hmm. we'll see what happens. And he restarted it. I'm so confused. I, I'm confused. I think there might even have been a misclick when you canceled it. I don't think you intended to. I mean, uh, that's so important to build like this. I feel like we've seen this before. It's like deja vu. Because he actually, I mean, I, I was watching his resources and it dipped below 100 like once when he canceled it. So yeah, he would, would have had one less roach if he didn't cancel Burrow. It would have been one less roach. And uh, I mean, I, I think this attack can still do a lot of damage. Yeah. But I don't think it's going to, I mean, with Burrow, it would end the game. Like, Jokchi could not stop this if those were said Burrow. There's nothing you could do. Banshee on the way. Jokchi starting to realize, uh-oh, lots of bugs approaching my natural expansion, running the mules as fast as he can. SCVs are going to be vulnerable. They got to repair this bunker. No, they're just going to sit just in run. the corner and just die. Run. There we go. Mineral walking into the main. The bunker could get taken down. Marine's going to go with them. Uh, Hellion's going to try to return back and do some damage, but Hellions aren't Hellbats. No armory is in production, so he's not going to have the ability to do that. But he does have a Banshee about to pop out, and DRG, Burrow is about to finish, so... And, you know, uh, this Burrow's, might even be game winning. I, it, it might be, because the Banshee puts a timer on the roaches by eventually killing them all. But if you have Burrow, it can't do that. They'll never die. Yeah, they'll never die. Burrow's about to kick in right now. Now. Is he going to start now. using it? They're so clumped, though, one scan can reveal them all. Oh, there it goes. And look at that, even without the upgrade, they regen at 5 life a second, which is pretty fast. Burying them again, gonna regenerate There's just no a little bit. There's no scans available if people are wondering. Why isn't he scanning? He's still, he's so far away from yeah. the scan, actually. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, and, and he saw so many SCVs, you really don't want to scan as a Terran here. It Absolutely. hurts so much. And now he's just burrowing to hurt ones. There's one more in the red, he's gonna burrow that guy. Is the Banshee gonna try to focus it down? Uh, there's the burrow. Ooh, look at that. And scan is now available. He's gonna do it, but I feel yeah, like it might even uh, wear off before he can kill them all. Look at this. DRG can see how far scan goes. He can just uh, relocate oh. and burrow again. Oh, and this is just so bad for Joxy, man. DRG's cranking out joins like a maniac behind this, too. What a I cool mean. build, though. Yes. Awesome, awesome now, build. Joxy did scout it, though. He scouted how much gas was being mined. Isn't that enough information to kind of. Yeah, like, you're yeah, kind especially of going because through it in he, your he, mind, he, and, and I felt if, like if he saw there was no speed being oh, researched, yeah, that's, I guess that's which he did because his SCV went right by the spawning pool. So he saw there was no speed being researched. He really, uh, he really should have known exactly what was going on and gotten out those widow mines because widow mines, of course, if you have yeah. two of them, they'll just they'll, they'll start really they'll do a lot more damage than Hellions will the roaches. I mean, they're not going to instantly kill the whole attack, but they'll they'll you know they'll do enough damage. It's much easier to stop, of course, and Banshees can finish it finish the job. But he does have these Hellion Banshee combination. I, I feel he could have killed the third, but now he's running back. Uh, Slowing's going for a counterattack here. This, uh, is, this is the this is the feared Slowing counterattack. I mean the the yeah. ten the ten thirty five slow Zergian harass. I think there were six, but in in, in the hands of yeah you're right six it, the six slow Zergian harass in the hands <laughs> of DRG is is something to be feared. Well yeah, and he's um, Jockey's gonna get a lot of Hellions on the field here, loading up one of his medibacks. He has to get some damage done somehow, because Ooh, right now, armory. DRG is in a position where uh, if you're playing him, you don't want him to be. No, where he, he has the drone count, he's happier. He's 50 drones, he's adding on units, uh, already has the Hydrogen out. I mean, the layer, of course, is done. Got additional Queens on the way. Doesn't have speed. And you know what? what's a really important thing here is right now, Jockey does not have a third orbital. Usually from this position, Terran has a third orbital, but... Can you watch the drop in the main, but go ahead. Yeah, w w without the third orbital, it's so much harder to... It's so much harder to basically keep up with the third player. Yeah. All right, we have an attack in the third base at the same time. Some aggression in the main. Banshee's taking out the Hydras here, or at least trying to, but uh, Jokshi actually throwing away a lot of units here at the third, instead focusing on the main, and it looks like so he's... So many drones went down oh, in the main. No. These, and they're not even done! Oh, going straight to the natural. This is exactly what Jokshi wanted, uh, attacking these drones. I'm going to hit Control-R. 20 workers killed there. 
that's a lot of workers. I mean, he didn't even lose that much there. He, he lost the four Hellions. Uh, he lost one of the Banshees at the third, and, and, and maybe a couple more units. But overall, I mean, that was that's what he had to do because Jockey has to do one or two things. He's either take a third right now or hit a critical time attack. Whichever one, he can't afford to have DRG building units right now. Because the DRG builds units, he can either deny the third or defend a time attack. Uh, so, it, but killing the drones is the best way to stop that because yep. then he has to rebuild the drones instead. Over the very least, he'll be building units at a slower rate. Uh, it looks like he's actually going for a monster time attack. Ooh, lots it of marauders in production. Concussive shells about to finish. This is looking eerily like the game one uh, build, except banshees are going to be mixed in. Looks like not a lot of SCVs are being pulled, or so it seems. There's oh, no banings. Here they come. There's no banings. Without Banings, SCVs will do a, a, a really great job tanking. We have Hydras. I mean, the, the oh, DPS out of those are, are pretty ridiculous. So we'll definitely keep an eye on this. But Jockji definitely wants to end the game. He knows his opponent has been uh, uh, rebuilding all of his drones. So this might be his best opportunity. Can DRG hold off this push? Remember, this is such an important game. The winner of this will be one win away from getting that all-expenses-paid trip to the Winter Championship event. Jockji coming forward to the bonus natural expansion. DRG with 10. And roaches in production, trying to get some damage up with the hydrogen from above, but there goes the stem from Jockji. He only has one medevac here, powering forward the SCVs as well, but the DPS, can it be enough here from DRG? Still at 125 in that supply count. Nine more roaches in production. Does DRG have enough? He's trying to power through with those marauders. Oh, I think he does. He does. Or does he? I mean, there, there's so many, so much of a stronger rally coming from DRG. The battle's wow. all on creep. Uh, Jockji's food is plumbing to half with DRG. Is the hydrogen going to take out the medevac? Uh, there's a Viking still hanging down there, but that's not going to be enough. GG Jock from Jock G. Wow. <sighs> that was a good game. That was a great game. I mean, that, that Burrow Rush was so awesome to see. Yes. Um, DRG's obviously prepared for Terran. I mean, he, last game, you know, deal with the drops. This game, he, he devised, a, like, he made what's already one of the most common yeah. TVs, or ZVT builds is early Rogue Pressure. That's super common in Wings of Liberty. Heart of the Swarm, he had that little twist of Burrow. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the Banshee is what puts a timer on it because the Banshee will eventually kill all the roaches. But Burrow, that's not true anymore unless they want to waste all the scans and, and that's such a critical point in Terran's infrastructure buildup. Like this using like two or three scans or an attack is gonna hurt them way more. Then researching Burrow will hurt, will hurt the server, not to mention the, the regeneration impact as well. DRG getting a lot of damage done with that early push. Obviously took Jockji uh, very off guard, though kudos to Jockji, able to do that counterattack to kill uh, a lot of drones, which is kind of what he had to do, which is what we were talking about. And then behind that, you know, going for that timing push, but of course DRG had too much. I mean, Jockji had two choices there, either uh, either take a command center after, after you got all those drones uh, killed and then go rebuild and then get that economy up, just go for late game, or attack because he knows after he kills all those drones, DRG is going to be spending the next next uh, 30 seconds, minute, uh, droning back up to get what he had. And I think that's the window Jockji was going for. But DRG able to get too many units out, too many Hydras, and Jockji quite simply did not have enough. It's not quite enough there. I mean, uh, it was a really fun game, though. Yeah, it was. Really fun game. It was. Of course, uh, this has been a very fun series so far, guys. Be sure to talk about this on Team Liquid. Talk about it on Reddit, on Twitter. Get people in here because this is getting intense. Dong Regu is one win away from getting a spot at the Winter Championship event in Dallas, Texas. Can he do it? We'll find out in the next game.